uh, farm morph or on their morphling. We do see people coming in now. They're gonna focus on the line. Line is okay. He is that Nirvana. Oh my god! I know you, I don't even know what I was trying to say, but it didn't look good for Sentinel there. <laughs> it was like that was uh, wow. That was just utter domination by the Nirvana team. Uh, Alienware is running some trouble in the early game. They should be really dominating by now. Uh, this part of the game for them to be able to have success later, but I don't know. It's not really going their way. We see some people TPing down bottom. I'm not sure what they're gonna do now. Revenge is gonna run in and heads first, and I think she is. She might be in trouble if they're. Um, like I said earlier about that Rasta play. So far, Rasta still hasn't pushed any tower yet, and which is really, really uncharacteristic of uh, XL, XR, L, A, or whichever his tag is. <laughs> yeah, he generally yeah. pushed towers like crazy, and the fact that in the last engagement you saw how he had to dump it for a fight instead of for a tower push. We know that uh, Alienware DG is not, you know, stuff is not going well. We do see Marana going to bottom lane to grab a rune. No, there is no rune for her. She's really going there with very little HP, and that's very dangerous if you're against a Storm Shirt, as we see more initiation going on that Sven. Lion goes down here, and we do see uh, Venge TPing back to base immediately. Sven is going to be trapped here. Necrolai is coming in, he's going to focus, and he's being focused by Rylai. Rylai is going to go down to the bottom. This is just hectic action back and forth. We do see Morphling trying to wave for him here. He is going to wave for him into the bottom, but not going for the bottom here. Everyone is dying. We do see a nice arrow for the Morphling. Morphling is going to go down here. No, Morphling morphing everything to strength here. He is going to be okay. Wow, look at his strength shooting up. Oh, wow, that was a nice escape. Just love watching uh, good Morphlings escaping with their strength. If the stun was just a second long, he would have been down for sure. Um, I guess the Sentinel team should just be glad they didn't lose more people than they did in that yeah. encounter. They I think I think Nirvana right now is sitting in a very comfortable position. They know they have the the better late game here, and uh, I mean right now they're staying pretty even against the early pressure team. Um, but we do see the uh, the mid tower being pushed down. I think Rasa dropped his wards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Um, it is on cooldown, so there we go. We do see some Rasa pushes. And last time I saw his Rasa play, he did get Yule Scepters, which you don't generally see. I mean, that's an old school Rasa build, going Yules for the Roar Trap. But uh, we'll see whether he if he gets the, uh, the Yules this game or not. Any item prediction from any heroes on, on any team? I mean, we see Rasta picking up an Ogre Axe. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> BKB. Yeah, yes, maybe. BKB is a very good choice here because, I mean, once that storm jumps in, you you got to have some sort of magic immunity or you're dead. So. I'm going to make a prediction for a mechanism on Necrolite. A oh, nice prediction there. <laughs> That's not... Uh, we see power treads uh, being formed on Sven. Uh, Sven should get a BKB, in my opinion, in this game. You think he's going to... Sh should he get BKB first or Blink Dagger first? Or? Um... Kind of split. I think BKB first would be a pretty decent choice in this game. What do you think? I don't know. I, I'm going to have to disagree because they are more of the aggressor on this team as we see more fight going on bottom. And Arrow is missed and they, that Necrolite is really, really tanky at this point. Um, he are, and and uh, they're going to go for the counter. We do see Alphit in the jungle as well. So I don't think they should be pushing right now. They have expended a lot of their mana. If you look at Necrolite, only 160 mana left. They are going to go for the Sven's friend is taking some damage here. He should be okay. No, he is going to get chained to death. And Strength Trap pops on, gets one single hit off. Pot him now in trouble. And uh, really, the Sentinel team is really overextending themselves, trying to go into a, a, a high mobility team like the Morphling, like the Storm. And they're just getting punished for it repetitively as as we see and now a dive on that Necrolite. Necrolite is seen by that Frost and overcast by the Maiden and now he is in tef yeah he is in total trouble. Yeah, that was a pretty poor play by Sentinel team right there. Uh I think they they did another mistake by leaving two two heroes uh, on the top lane. But that did give them a tower kill so I'm not sure. Maybe they Pros yeah. outweigh the cons. I well, I wouldn't say it's it's within their game plans to lose three heroes <laughs> for a tower, but I I think it's it's not a bad of uh, a the, what what of prize reconciliation prize. What was that freaking Con English is hard. Prize? Consolation prize. There you go. I'm, Look, I'm Swedish, dude. You live in America. <laughs> I'm Chinese. Yeah. Come on, don't give me that. 
<laughs> As we see, uh, bottom uh, lining a nice air on the on oh, the line. That was a nice is, oh, just like two hit away, but bottom should have leap, I believe. Let's see if he's gonna leap in. He is gonna leap in. Just two more hits. Let's see if he's gonna get it. Go, oh, go, that go. line nah, still. No way. No, he's gonna he's, make it. He's okay. Oh, that's very nice escape by the lion. Um, what what I uh, what I was gonna say? Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, maybe the thought behind the taking the tower and giving them a couple of kills was probably that they w there, was, there was a high possibility they would all die if they went bottom. So that is true. That is true. But that uh, Rasa Wards also does a lot of hectic in team fights. As we see, uh, Potom hitting another arrow on. on uh, was that Potom hitting arrow on C? Um, what what the hell is CM doing there? No, I have no. I think Potom. What what the fuck is that? An illusion? No, <laughs> that was weird. I I I saw, I'm sorry I did not catch uh, what was happening there. As we see some initiation going on, this, uh, oh, the necrolite necrolite is going to fall down. Yeah, we do that see was a, a bad storm. spot for necrolite. We do see storm going on BKB here, and which is really the best item for storm in this meta game currently. Because especially when you're facing against Ross, you're going to swap the lich. Lich is going to get completely changed and not the best chain sending there. Oh, lich almost got his ulti off. That would have been bad. Um, Rasta forces drop his wards, uh, but they are just really out of the ward. Ranger, Rasa gets picked off here, so th this pair of wards, it's just pretty much wasted because all it's that, gonna get is creeps now. Pretty terrible warding. He sh should have saved it for um, for a push, in my opinion, because they need those towers so they can get some more gold. And uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, Sven is just farming the forest. Uh, so uh, let's see. What if is Sven going for the? I think Sven is going for the blink dagger first. Yeah, uh, speaking like of tower it. earlier, with, with that uh, little mishap at the bottom lane, we, they do. Oh, another nice arrow from bottom. Bottom has been landing some sick arrow here. Yeah, and I, did, I actually missed that. And now Oops. we see Morphling Lat getting and reading the strength. He sh he should be be careful when he's doing that because um, Necrolite is Necrolite's all can still like really own, you know, through all of that stuff. So. Yeah, Necrolite but it's still uh, really a, it's still a really effective method of escape. Yeah, that is that is true. That is true. And uh, yeah, earlier I was saying that Sven should probably get the BKB because they're definitely the aggressor in this in this you match. You mean Blink Dagger? Uh, yeah, Blink. Sorry, Blink Dagger. So he really needs to be as mobile as as possible here. And Sentinel, pretty mobile team as well. They do have uh, you know the, the leap on the bottom and a Blink on Sven, and of of course a swap here. But yeah, but um, but we've been seeing some team fights where Sven just gets disabled right off the bat and uh, can't do any damage at all. He really needs to have a BKB to be able to pop God Strength and dish out some serious damage. That is true too, and uh, I mean, there there's an argument saying that yeah, if you have Blink Dagger, you just blink in, and uh, but the thing is, y there's really nothing right now to force the Nirvana team to commit. Um, if if things goes wrong, they could just waveforms, you know, zip out with the with the uh, Stormstreet ult. Um, there's really no one to bait on the Sentinel team. Like they could use a pot on the bait, but you know she could get instant gip too. So, um, not too sure what what Alien G Alien War DG's game plan right now is, but it's it's not going well for them. Despite having some early advantage in the tower counts. Now we see the full team converging mid. Maybe they're gonna make an epic push for Rex. I mean, yeah, I guess no, they, so. They Middle tower. Try. <laughs> <laughs> they could try. Uh, they do. They do have mecha finish on the necrolite, so significantly they do have a lot of survivability now. Um, Terror is being casted just for sight, so always a good thing. If you're a vengeful player, um, if you're the mana, do it. And if you look at the venge she does, just always spam your terrors. It's a good sight spell. Um, oh, it's really a region rune being guarded by the lion. Uh oh. Yafit BKB with Regen. Uh oh. Oh shit. Gonna be some yeah. some crazy stuff happening here. We do see an 18 minute BKB on Yafit, so he is farming really, really well by far. And um, we haven't done a CS check at all yeah. this game, so after yeah. Yafit kills someone, after Yafit kills someone, we'll do we'll do a CS check. And I'm pretty sure Yafit will kill someone there. Um, I don't think they have any wards to see them coming. No, a Sentinel team is blind right now. I'm gonna look at Sentinel Vision. They don't see anything, and they're but boy, they are in trouble. We do see. Oh no, they're okay for now. They're okay <laughs> for now. They're trying to push the bottom tower, but I think they're gonna get ganked. Uh, now if if uh, yeah, that is. Pretty bad. We have, we have all gone in too far. 
right now. I think they're all pretty ripe for picking right now. If, uh, if they can get off a nice uh, Lich King ult, this could be bad. Oh, Yavid's BKB. GG. Yeah, everything going off here. We see Lich LT doing a lot of damage. Crystal Maiden doing a lot of damage as well. That BKB just saving that uh, that Storm Spirit. You can see the tower just one hit away. I'm surprised no one went back for the tower. Just got one, one single. Yafet, of course, gets a triple kill. Oh my Regen room popping, so he is just still going crazy here. Um, no, that those wards destroy tower. Meanwhile, he's going to zip <laughs> to the bottom here. And that regen rune still on that uh, storm spirit, and they are gonna get potum as well. So, oh my god, not exactly a smartest idea to push without sight here, getting completely backstabbed. And uh, if you were watching that from Sentinel Vision, they had absolutely no vision there um, from being backstabbed. And also, they only saw Morphling at the top lane, so they they knew that four hero was missing off the map as well. Now storm spirit gets a haste rune, and Dark Design, please give me a creep check, cause. That's 20 minutes in, and that's gonna be the first one. I just wanna say, that kids is why you get wards. Uh, we have uh, Yafet leading the pack at 88 creep kills and 8 denies, so not bad. With, uh, let's see, 5 neutrals, so he hasn't been creeping much in the forest. Uh, no, actually, whoa, I was way off. Zhao is leading. Yeah. yeah, yeah, my bad. 98 creep kills, so uh, 10 denies, pretty sweet. Uh, on the sentinel side, we have Rasta first with 77, and uh, uh, Necrolite 66. So they they they're definitely behind. Uh, we have Mirana at 52. So uh, we have the the top earners in. Uh, we have more people with high creep counts in the sentinel team, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, they have three people with pretty high creep stats. Meanwhile, in uh, uh, Scourge team we only have two people with significant creep kills. Uh, yeah. And one thing to point out just for that uh, Vengeful Sir, what he did there, you can see that he really really ventured deep into enemy territory to place a ward and that is generally a bad bad, well in my personal opinion is a bad place to place a ward now. Gen I think the alien ward DG is very defensive right now, they're not really winning and there's really no reason at this moment of time to place a observer ward so oh. far Deep in the enemy territory, as we as I miss a kill there. What what just happened? Necrolite. Uh, whoa, J Jeff's died. I have no clue. I was watching it, but I still didn't. Uh, Rost and Sven came and ganged up on him. Necrolite got away with like 100 HP. And I guess Yafet went in and he and didn't get the kill either. No, no, he he the yeah Necrolite got away with 100 HP. Too bad for him. Uh, Rost came in with uh, Shackle and they did a ton of damage. Uh, sweet yes. stuff. Yeah, uh, so sometimes, uh, going back to that little ward rant I was having, sometimes, you know, some players just you know wa read a guy say, okay, you should ward here and you should ward here. A lot of players don't know, um, you know, they know all the warding spots, but they don't know when to ward it. And that was a good example of when not to ward in such a deep enemy territory. I'm still speaking about that ward that's uh, placed oddly below the ca uh, hill on the Scourge Forest there. And uh, that that is a bad time to ward that place, especially when Alien Ward DG is losing right now. Um, there are better places for that ward. Uh oh, sh I messed up. Uh, don't you place that ward up on the hill? Yeah, he he got ganked by the the line, so he just like threw it down. Oh yeah, but he died. So whatever. <laughs> he died. Uh yeah, so uh, um the vengeful spear has 15 creep kills. Uh, Hell, that's 15 too much, sir. <laughs> that is. <laughs> maybe he got off tears or something. We do see the morphling now finishing Manta style. Um, so Tret's Manta in what 23 minutes? It's pretty respectable. Not the best farm that Zoe has, but um, really this game. This game has been really hectic. Uh, game is in favor of uh, Scourge right now. 16 to 21 in favor of Scourge and morphling push is going to be coming on. You see that the Lich. Oh my God! I was going to talk about it a little bit later. They just completely. Gank rape that morph illusion. That was primarily due to the Lich casting the frost armor on an illusion, just completely baiting out the swap, baiting out the hex. That's really well played by the Lich there on the sent on scourge. Yeah, that that was really nicely done. Uh, that's really smart play, and uh, that's not something uh, I think you'd see a lot of Dota players doing.